Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a pretty piece I did. Uh, the background is a custom color. I took the Modern Masters English Brown and mixed it with their green apple. And it came out a really pretty olive green color. And the pink is the Modern Masters, I think it's a rose quartz. There's a gold and a light bronze, and that's the green apple. And I also have to put some turquoise in there. All of these paints are mixed only with Floetrol and a little bit of water. And now I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna push paint around. So for me, this is almost a starting point. Um, I look at how the paint is sitting and I start thinking about what I want to do. And usually the first thing I do is some tilting and that will open up the cells. It also helps to replace paint that may have been scraped right down to the canvas. So right off the bat, my first reaction is that I need more contrast, which means adding black. And so I use my black Amsterdam formula and do some great big schmears. So the Amsterdam formula is one part Amsterdam black oxide mixed with four parts American Floetrol. And I put it on the blade of this offset spatula and I glide it over the colors. And you can see the lacing that comes up. It's really quite effective. And in the same way, I'm adding some interest and some contrast to the piece.
Now I'm working on composition. It's an interesting piece. There's movement, there's contrast now in some dimension, some very, very pretty cells. But it, it's just a, an abstract. And so I'm going to end up doing what I call extreme tilting. And you'll see in a little bit that I, I tilt it off quite a bit to the left. And that stretches the cells. It, it created some really pretty lines. Uh, you just have to keep working with the piece till you get somewhere that is pleasing to your eye.
So I'm still looking at the composition. Uh, that bottom right corner is a little dull. And so to balance it out, I'm going to add some of my beautiful turquoise and I'm going to do a great big schmear over it. And you'll see what it does to help balance the painting. So I think there's about one schmear left, so more tilting. I really love the way that it distorts, but you can pull it back a bit by tilting in the other direction. You can uh, create rounder cells if you've distorted them. Um, anyway, um, this is about where I stopped. I think there's one more, one more great big schmear. Um, thank you again for coming and watching. Thank you for all your kind comments, and uh, I hope I've inspired you to play with your paints and try something a little different. It's very rewarding. I, I don't know. I'm pleased with this piece. You'll see when you see the close-ups that it has really got some beautiful details in it. And uh, very simple, no special additives to get those kinds of cells. All of the paints were metallic, except for the black and uh, they're really going to shine when it's dry. So again, thank you so very much. Let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I think we still are in a difficult time and sometimes it's hard to get the motivation to paint, but if you get down there and you start mixing, it's, it's funny, you sort of get the urge, you get thinking about what you'd like to see. I've been thinking about this olive green most of uh, the day wanted a deep rich uh, metallic olive green and I think it's a nice background for these colors okay well thanks again and uh, we'll see you next week take care bye